Hello everyone, my name is Tim from Signage Live and today we're going to be looking at how to use Canva with Signage Live and your CMS for delivering digital signage to your screens. Now we're actually going to see how quickly we can do this today because it is by far one of the easiest ways of creating content and then having that content delivered to your screens as fast as possible. My intention is to not pause this video at all to actually show you in real time what this experience looks like. As you can see, I've got some holding content back here. This is actually what we're displaying on our screen right now, and this is from Canva. So what I'm going to do is quickly redesign this and go, I have uploaded some content to Signage Live. I'm going to drag and drop this over here. If you haven't used Canva before, it's a really simple tool for creating and building content quickly from Canva. And there we go. I've made a slight change, a slight amendment. Obviously, you'll probably spend a little bit more time. I'm just going to center this, make it look somewhat attractive. Although, arguably, you're probably going to do a better job than me. And there we go. I've got my piece of content. All I need to do is download the asset. Now, this is currently set at 1920 by 1080 because I know that's the resolution of my screen. This could obviously be into a zone of a screen, long, stretched out, whatever your preference is. But in this example, we're simply going to say we're going to pull this full screen 1920 by 1080. Now I'm going to swap over to the Signage Live user interface. That's downloading in the corner. I've already got Signage Live up and running with my players. I'm going to go to my playlist manager and I'm going to go and open up the playlist that I have here called Demo Playlist Placeholder with my placeholder content in there right now. Simply hit the plus button and go to your media asset upload. Click and drag your piece of content in there and confirm that you've got the permissions. Now that that's been done, it'll upload in the background, and once the thumbnail has rendered, which will take a couple of seconds here, we'll be able to move it. So I'm going to go to my recently added and look for that copy of Unentitled 4. Whilst we're doing this, I'm going to delete off this piece of content because we don't need that on there anymore. And there we go. Click and drag and save. Now, because we've already published this playlist, it already knows where it needs to go. If this was 100 screens or 15 screens that have this exact playlist set up in a similar way or in different zones, it already knows that it needs to deliver that content automatically. So I don't need to go and publish this content again. And what we can do in the meantime is have a look at the dashboard. Whilst we're looking at the dashboard, you can actually see if I refresh my page here, it tells me that one player is missing a piece of content. It's not got that piece of content that we've just sent it. And you can see the, pro the the progress bar. So as this is continually updating, you'll see the progress bar and it content checked a few seconds ago. So it's in the process right now. It said, hey, I've got some new content I want to display. Let me show you the progress bar of what's going on here. And as this happens and as this goes through, you'll see those changes and your dashboard will eventually turn back to green to let you know, hey, we've just received the new piece of content and we confirm that it is playing wherever it is in the world. So once it has changed over, we'll see that change happen on our screen. Now, if you're at your desk, this is a really nice and easy way to make sure that everything is being delivered as you want it to. However, if you're looking after a network and want to make sure all these players are running as expected, you can actually use something called, so now you can actually use something called proactive monitoring, which will allow you to track and make sure your players are running as you expect without having to be by your desk. You can receive email alerts or text message notifications on your network. So if you're more from an IT department or responsible for looking after the network health, then you don't need to be tied to the user interface to make sure everything is running as expected. As you can see, as I was talking there, my piece of content is uploaded and it's ready to go. And it's really that easy. So if you're looking to use Canva or you're struggling to find a solution for creating content nice and easily and you don't fancy going through an entire Photoshop training course, then a Canva may be a good option to tie in with your Signage Live solution to make things nice and easy.